Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look and see, um, uh, take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. We're going to see what this person wants from you. It could be new love. It could be current love. It could be past love like an ex. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situation, in your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So tell me about, um, tell me about uh, Virgo. The person that Virgo is dealing with, okay, thinking of, what does this person want with Virgo? What does this person want with Virgo for December 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo. Okay, so we have the two pentacles here and the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces. I'm not really quite sure what this person wants. Yeah, I feel like this person also has a really hard time trusting their own intuition here, trusting their gut here. We have the, tor we have the higher fin, Taurus energy, and we have the two of cups. This person definitely knows that there's definitely a strong soul tie between you guys. Strong soul contract here. But I feel like this person's definitely in this energy of like not not sure knowing what to do here, how to pursue this here. Uh, this connection that you have between this person is very intense, very spiritual here, okay? And I feel like this is like nothing like this person has ever experienced before here. And, you know, I do feel like yeah, at some point, if this person's keeping to themselves, trying to figure this out, I do feel like this person's definitely reaching out to you for some sort of communication here. Okay, they're probably going to realize the value of this connection here. They're going to realize the opportunity here. And I feel like this person's not going to want to miss out on it. So I feel like this person's definitely going to make you some sort of offer. Okay, they're definitely going to say, hey, Virgo, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a go just to see where things go here. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Time with the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. So we have some here that, that's definitely making a decision on you here. If they were unsure, they're definitely making a decision because, you know, I feel like they know where victory and success lies. I feel like this person's definitely trying to gain the courage here to sort of like, um, you know, pursue this because I feel like this person's a bit scared here at the same time. Uh, we have the Hierophant here and the Devil. Wow. I want you to understand the soul contract a little bit here because I feel like this soul contract or this, this soul bond, this connection that you guys are about to jump into or that you're in, it's not really meant to last. Yeah, because one of the things that's really going to stand out here is that this person might seem like they have a strong moral compass, you know, but I feel like this person has a really dark side to them. Yeah, I feel like this person has a really dark side to them. And I feel like it's going to really completely surprise you here. And, you know, it, it could be that this, their dark side is these, like, sexual kinks or something like that, or these, like, uh, unhealthy vices, okay? Tell me the Two of Cups here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I, 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 I'm feeling, like, more and more, even though it's not showing here with the cards, I feel like this is, like, a karmic situation here. Yeah, I really feel like this is a karmic situation here, Virgo. It's talking about the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like a lot of red flags are going to start popping up here. Um, I feel like, you know, this person's going to move this situation here along pretty quickly. That's a huge red flag. You know, just from personal experience, Virgo, anything that's rushed, it won't last. This person is love bombing you. Yeah. This person is love bombing you, and it's a control thing here with the devil card. So just be careful with that. Yeah, just be careful with that. They're going to come off a little bit confused of, 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 of the damsel here, but it seems like it's part of the tactic here, okay? What else do we have for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for December 2023 for Virgo when it comes to this love situation? 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and the Sun and Cups here. Yeah, you're going to realize that this is this whole situation that you're in with this person. It's an illusion. Queen of Cups and Eight of Cups. Yeah, I actually see you walking away from this. I see you actually walking away from this and really protecting yourself here. Uh, because I feel like, you know, you could have been through a similar situation before here too. And I feel like you're seeing all the signs here with the Knight of Cups here and the Three of Cups. This person is not going to let go of you that easily. They're definitely in the high, the thrill of the chase here. And once this person catches you, that's when this person is going to flip on you here, Virgo. So, uh, you know, if I, I feel like if you've been in the pattern of attracting these types of individual, it's really important to look look deep within yourself and ask yourself why this, keep, why this keeps happening. There could be some sort of wounding, some sort of trauma that happened that sort of like led to this here. Okay? The Tower and the Ten of Cups. Time of the sun, like, yeah, you're gonna realize this is this is all an illusion here. Whoever this is, this is a bit of a control thing. Yeah, this person definitely is playing a chess game, and you know, I, and I feel like they're this chess game. I, I feel like they're trying to win it. Yeah, and I feel like the prize is you. The prize is you here. Okay. Um, and I feel like there are other moving pieces here too. When I say that, there is other people here too. Okay, the Emperor Aries energy, the Ten of Cups. Tell me the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups in the Death card, Scorpio energy, Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups and the Hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, so you're gonna end things with this person and let this let this go. Yeah, you're gonna let this go. I feel like they're gonna try and come back around. I really feel like this is a karmic. I really feel like this is a karmic. I mean, it doesn't have to be a karmic. It could be some sort of lesson that you need to learn. Something that you've been repeating over and over again that doesn't that hasn't been addressed yet. But yeah, I, 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 I feel like someone here is playing a chess game and you're one of their pieces here. And this is like a control thing. This is like to grab you, hold on to you, and sort of keep you in the box here. And, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, like I said, I feel like you've been caught in, in these types of situations in the past, and I feel like it's about to happen again. So make sure you notice the warning signs here. And I feel like you are noticing the warning signs. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys might turn a blind eye away from the warning signs because you guys are so scared or to be single or that you guys hate being single that you guys are willing to take anybody. Okay, for some of you guys, I'm going to say some of you guys, because I feel like all of you guys are not like that. Okay, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.